Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. Today we will be doing the solution to the big challenge I set you two videos ago, which was to create a grams to ounces converter. If you missed that video, check the playlist link in the description. All the videos from this Python basic series will be there. Okay, so let's just open up idle. Let's new file. Okay, so first thing we're going to want is grams equals input. So we're going to want to get an input from the user. So let's just type gra grams. So now we've got the grams variable. Now what we want to do here is convert this to, an, uh, to a float. So that when they type it in, it's a number and then we'll be able to modify that number, convert it into um, the ounces and stuff. The only problem with this is if they do type in a string, it'll give an error. We could try something, but we haven't covered it yet, and I don't want to confuse you guys. Alright, so the next thing was to check if uh, it was a positive number, if it's anything else. Just give an error. So if grams is less than zero, print error. Okay. Else ounces equals so what this does is it just tests to see if gram the input in grams was positive if it wasn't if it was less than zero so it's a negative it's going to just print error end the program there if it doesn't do that it's going to move on to else and it's going to calculate the ounces so ounces equals grams the formula was grams divided by 28.35 then what we can do from here is print ounces comma with uh, comma ounces this just concatenates it it puts together the string so if we save this and run it grams let's just type in 50 grams ounces is 1.763 big long number I'm not gonna read that out to recap, let's go through the program again, just to explain it again. So, first thing we need to do is get input, which we're doing here. We're setting that input to a variable, so when they type in a number, it'll save it to gr the grams variable. And we're casting that input from a string into a float, which allows them to write it in, like, 6.6 .6 or something, rather than just an integer with no decimals. The only problem with this is it'll spit out an error because um, you can't really convert letters to numbers. We could have done a more advanced thing but we're not going to cover that in today's video just because I don't want to confuse you guys. So then if grams is less than zero print error so it, m it makes it so that they can't type in minus one because you can't really get minus grams it needs to be positive. So if it is positive if this proves false Let's move on to the else statement. So ounces equals grams, which is what we've typed in up here. It's a user input divided by 28.35, which is just the formula to convert grams to ounces. And then what we do here is print ounces and then ounces number, which has been calculated here. You could also use a plus. What we actually want to do when we're using a comma is get rid of that and run it so we only get one space because a comma separates it with a space. So if we but if we decided to use a plus, we would have to convert this to a string again, because with a plus you have to have the same um, data type, so you can't uh, concatenate a float and a string, but with a comma you can. But also, if we run it, as you can see, it doesn't provide a space at all, it's right next to each other, whereas with a comma, it provides a space, or if you wanted to use a plus, you would put a space where I've highlighted. So if we run it again, as you can see, we've got space. So it's nice and formatted. Okay, so that was the challenge I set you. If you have any questions about this code right here, any questions about Python, any errors you've got, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. I will help you out. Please also consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything, it's free. Feel free to drop a like as well, it helps me out a lot. That's all from me, thanks for watching.